Now, playing for kids is more than meets the eye. Children learn through play, and that's what we're talking about in today's Cakey Corner. We welcome Chanel Matos and Navitra Warline with Coma and the Kids. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Now, tell us, what is learning through play? Uh, like you said, learning through play is more than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people confuse uh, coming into a center and seeing children play with just children running around. But there's so much more intensity to it, and children actually retain more information when it's fun uh, activities oh, going on. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Now, why is it important for children to play? Like I said, yeah. it's, it's um, an activity that stimulates their brain, it gives them more retention, it develops their social and emotional developments, um, their problem solving skills, it goes deeper into their literacy and mathematics skills. So it's, it's really important to have children uh, besides just conquering obesity and, and getting out there to get physical. I love that. Keep them active. Why don't mm -hmm. we talk a little bit about what you brought here to show us? Um, yes, okay, so in our preschools, you know, we, uh, our curriculum is creative curriculum, mm -hmm. um, and of course that's learning through play. So what we have brought today is basically showing you um, the different centers and things that you will see in a typical accredited preschool. So for example, everything that you see on this panel here is educational based. All of our toys in our center are educational based, so no matter what they're playing with, they're learning cognitive skills, math, literacy, science, art. Um, so for example, um, this is woodworking. So this is for our four and five year olds. So okay. basically what you'll see in here is real goggles, hammer, nails, and the children are actually allowed to do real live woodworking. All right. Um, and that works with, you know, their gross and fine motor. Mm -hmm. um, in our science centers, you'll see things like this where they get to, you know, um, do little experiments mm -hmm. and understand opposites and how oil and water, oil and water, excuse me, you know, kind of go together. Um, we have things like this where they can kind of learn, you know, about animals and flowers and different things. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course you see their handhelds so are these for the two-year-olds so they're able to grip it mm -hmm. as well as learning at the same time um, when we're discussing um, colors yes, okay. we have puzzles okay. like this so that's actually teaching nice. them about animals so and great. vegetables what are and some then, of the favorites that the kids really like to in interact um, or you think that are more the popular items I would say these guys right here which we're right. also are promoting multicultural they're so cute, yes. and they're also our community helpers mm -hmm. so you have the fireman we have our doctor we have the mailman oh. you know we're familiarizing the children with everyday people um, as far as things like this you'll notice that we teach colors so this oh, is a okay. magnetic puzzle this is really popular in my uh, three fours and fives so basically they take the magnetic and they're learning okay purple and they try to take it down into the purple ah, very and you, nice. you know kind of drop great. it and say again the age range that this would be great for so this you can actually start at three okay so three fours and fives because they're gross and five more they need to be able to grip and understand how the magnetic works and then be able to identify uh, the colors and then we have one on here this is actually for counting okay. so this is for the preschool side I'm not sure if you can see so yeah my next question was be what do children learn when they play okay. so that would so be so this is actually learning colors and being able to identify colors this one right here is actually teaching them how to count Ooh. so this would be great in our pre-k room because as you see on here it goes one through ten so they have to put one ball in here two in here mm. and so I don't know if you can see that. Yes. So even if they're playing, they're also still getting um, the mathematic um, skills. Sweet. Um, moving down here, this These is our so social cute. emotional. This is the most popular in our school because it's basically dressed up. But All our right. dress up clothes are, as you notice, the local fireman. Mm -hmm. We have the pilot. We have the doctors. We have the nurse, you know, the stethoscope, the shot. So and this is for social. This is social emotional. So they're learning how to play pretend. They're learning how to be um, prominent you know, members in our society. We want them to aspire to be um, great. And mm -hmm. as you can see, just along with the dolls as well, everything that we promote in our school, they're learning. Um, and the, the biggest thing about play is they get stress reduced, okay. anxiety reduced. Um, it's great for them to build their vocabulary because they're learning how to work with each other, problem solving. Yes. Um, all these things go along with play. So I when support you see this because it takes yeah. it away for you, takes away from the phone and the iPads and yes, all of that, all the which I am not a fan of. This, you know, we're I at do right not like now. that. No, at so all. this, they're actually learning while they're playing. Mm -hmm. I mean, and yes. even for something like the fine well, sort of, we yeah. have the bouncing ball. So with this, um, you know, they would see on the track. I would that. <laughs> <laughs> You want to sit on it, they hold, and they're learning how to no. balance themselves up and down mm -hmm. and bounce around. We have scooters and bikes, all kinds of things for them. That's to great. really get that activity like Chanel was saying about mm -hmm. you know obesity and staying active so we're really proud of our preschools because all oh, of our classrooms so contain much much yeah. more than that all right. a little sample. okay and then yeah. so families who are watching what is the, the help with learning through the play process what can they be doing at home 
Um, I would say at home, just basically make time to play with your children. Oh, um, you know, expand the vocabulary, find out, you know, help them build, help them explore, ask them questions, open-ended questions. That's very important in early childhood for them to be able to figure out the next step. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much for being here with us.